Hello everybody, welcome to the J72 Gaming Channel. My name is Jacob, but you guys can just call me Jay here. And today I wanted to show you guys this game, Ember Ward. I bought it and played it for like one run, right, for like 30 minutes, and I was like, this is sick. And so I decided to stream it. So today in this video, I wanted to kind of cut together my stream and uh, explain things along the way for you guys as well to kind of show you off this game, show you what it's all about, and um, show you the run I had where I defeated the first boss. So sit back, kick back, grab a snack, and I hope you guys enjoy this exclamation slash review of Ember Ward. It's a tower defense game, right off the bat, uh, and like I said, it's roguelike, so I'm going to go ahead and hit new game here, play normal. I'm going to Misty Forest. This is still an early access, so it's missing a lot of features, I guess you could say, um, but it's really awesome. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you guys what it's all about as we go through here. Um, so you can see it's like, the you know, it's got the roguelike... Uh, map, if you will, work your way to the boss. I actually made it to the one right before the boss in my last run, which was unfortunate for me. <laughs> so I, I've never seen the final boss battle. I'm sure it's tough. Um, but yeah, last time I had like a poison tower build and then I got fire towers and the fire towers, if I killed something that was poisoned while it was on fire, it exploded. So I had this crazy fire poison build, um, which was pretty sick. But we'll just dive into here and kind of see what we get out of it. So let's go to Academy, choose our gear, and see what we got. This is this is really like the the main pick, right? It really sets off your run. So let's uh, let's take some time here. So yeah, last time I had Cannon Tower, Poison Tower, and Flame Tower. This one has Axe, which is cool. Oh, Dart Tower. Here was the poison one I used last time. So we could go Lightning Poison with Frost. That could be an interesting build. It does have the little one thing, too, the one-tile Tetris piece, which uh, I'll show you guys. It's pretty nice and useful. Uh, let's go with this guy. Let's give it a shot. Let's, let's go Ice Storm. That makes sense to me. There's our basic build right there. And now we can dive into the run. So you can see each one here will give you rewards. So, you know, you beat the thing, you're going to get a new tower or a new block card. And it'll tell you what the block card is, which is kind of handy. Um... Based off your backpack, right, what you've you got available to, to block things around. Uh, but the main thing that I want to go for is these relics. These relics give... Uh, these are relics. The Ice Storm is a relic. And stacking those seems to be really powerful. So we might go up, I think, is probably the play. Let's go here. Alright. Let's see what we got here. So this one seems pretty easy. You see where they spawn with the orange, or off the screen there. I'm gonna make them straight down here. And then these are bonuses, so if I place the tower on these spots, they're a little bit stronger. So really my whole plan here is to consolidate the runway with my powers here. So let's see if I can kind of, let's see, maybe I'll start with that guy. I'll start with this guy. That feels good. Maybe I'll make them run along this way. Do something like this off the bat. Um, ooh, I kind of like that. Pl plug this up eventually and have them all run in the same line. That's really what I what I want. Uh, but we can start with lightning towers. Gonna bounce around. You know what, I might actually draw another card here because I really want to plug this. <laughs> it's not the not the greatest plug, but it'll work. I'll go like that. Let's see what these upgrades are. So Lightning Tower can upgrade to multi-target or it can upgrade to do fire damage. Or sorry, fire rate. And uh, damage increase, so that's cool. Probably go with multi-target unless we need... Well, I don't know, those are both pretty good. Then the Frost Tower gets more range or damage. Okay. Well, let's send it. Uh-oh. It's already kind of a scary start. Maybe I can draw something to help us here on the bottom. Oh, we, are. oh, we got it. We got it. We're fine. We're chilling. Let's see. Can this fit here? Ooh, it's too big. 
It's gonna be big. So this is the whole Tetra side of the game, which is pretty sick. Awesome. You know what? Let's get another lightning. Let's just stack these lightnings. But we can be obnoxious in the back here, I suppose. <laughs> really make them go out of their way. Uh, and look, if somebody gets past, we'll, we'll poison them. <laughs> look at them die. Explodes into other guys. Oh, that could have been bad. Yeah, those ones are quick. These guys are the ones who always get through the rare beast. They slam the ground and can stun your towers, which is super frustrating. Yep, there's the stun. Get him. Poison? Hey, poison kill. Love to see it. So yeah, folks, that gives you a little bit of a look at, like, the first round, right? Tower defense, Tetris, you can upgrade the towers, and you kind of block your, uh, block the path for the enemies to go through. Um, so I do want to show you how this one ended real quick. Uh, this is my second run and it didn't actually end very well <laughs> i ended up losing as you can see right here um, but that gets us into my third run this is actually the run that i want to show you the majority of because it got really cool got really technical uh, and we did make it to the boss for this one. Oh, uh, we're out already aren't we shoot cursed run it was not meant to be <laughs> it's okay that's all right we'll run it back all right, what are our options this time? Oh, Flame Lightning, we can do the combo that we learned about last time, and then Dice Tower. Interesting. Try your luck, the number you roll is the damage value of the tower. Huh, oh, so it could be really good off the bat, or it could be absolute crap. <laughs> Flame Keeper's Manual, if no damage is taken while completing a level, increases the maximum health by two. Oh, that's actually pretty fire, pun intended. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm kind of thinking we take Flamekeeper's manual and we go this route. Oh, also, what the heck? Look at the look at the Tetris builds. What the heck? Uh, let's give it a shot. That looks really interesting to me. So we'll come, we'll go with this one. And yeah, Flamekeepers. <laughs> let's give it a shot. Just, who knows? <laughs> um, let's do this so we can get. I kind of want to try the dice tower, but I don't know if I want to try it right off the bat. <laughs> that, might, that might kill us. Let's do lightning up front. Fire right here. And yeah, hope for the best, honestly. These first rounds could be kind of rough. Get a flame tower. Oh, wow, that's rain. that range is crappy. I need to increase it so I can attack over here is only 20, so let's do that right now, actually. Yeah, that's much better. That will help dramatically. All right, we gotta try the dice tower. Let's literally roll roll some luck. Three. Oh, so it's three out of six. Okay. And then you could sell it. I see. All right, well, it's middle of the road. We can see how good it does. Um, but I do want to upgrade my guys here. So you can see here how this kind of starts my run, right? I've got to work with these long pieces uh, or the single tiles, which is good, but can also be kind of an issue when I do need curves and stuff like that. Um, but let's go ahead and skip ahead, because as you saw on the map here, this full run has multiple rounds, um, each with, you know, six or eight waves or so. So uh, let's skip forward until I start buying uh, and getting a few new towers. Ooh, new tower. Ooh, snowball. Ours massive snowballs causing damage and slowing. That could be pretty cool. Or we can go arcane damage. 100% crit chance against enemies with more than 80% HP. Damage 6, range 7. Oh, so it has really low damage. You know what? Let's get the sniper. Because I'm a little worried about single target damage. Alright, we're definitely going to the barracks because I want to see what it is. Receive no damage from any monsters. Oh, it's a challenge, right? So if I don't take damage, I get a free hammer tower. 
Do not build any walls during battle phase. Oh, I don't normally, so that's actually a pretty easy one for me to get. Fireball. More fire. Not bad, I guess. Keep enemies at least five tiles away from the fire source. Reduces the cost of drawing cards. Uh, I don't really need that. I guess I'll go this one. Sure. Which forces us down here? Okay. Wow. Four waves. Don't love that. Okay, and then I want flamethrower right here. Seems the best. And then a Tesla. Buddy, buddy Tesla right next to it, I suppose. This one looks like it might be a little bit harder. Uh, something like this. Yeah, there we go. Now we're thinking. Okay, so now I can easily use like these. Now let's give the Tesla range. Uh, and then we'll put more power on the... Uh... Actually, that's a good spot for the sniper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do the sniper right there. Honestly, the more they're forced to maze around, the better. And we've got the money for the sniper. Just gonna drop this guy down right there. This guy's cool, it upgrades, uh, could cause a small explosion, so it's kind of like a long-range cannon, right? Uh, or you increase its uh, fire rate, and targets will take more damage after getting hit. So, I'll probably do small explosion. Actually, no, I'll probably do fire rate on this one. I don't really care about the secondary bonus, let's just go with fire rate. I feel like we got a good build here. This round might go pretty quick. Honestly, the graphics of this game are really nice. They're just, they're smooth, you know? Crisp. Get another fire in the front, because that seems to be working pretty well. And then you know what? Let's gamble. Wow, pretty solid rolls, <laughs> all things considered. Alright. Here we go, boss time. There he is. Oh, look at that sniper just chunk his HP. Do we waste a slam? I wonder what triggers their slam. It might be like 25% HP remaining or something. Easy. And we got our fireball tower, which is sick. That's gonna help with AoE. Uh, you know what? We might wanna start going to fire damage. Although well, greater damage is a little bit more, I could put anything on it. It's a little bit more uh, diverse. But this will make it... You know what? Let's do the fire because both our big towers are fire. And this is going to help. You know, we need like 2x2 two two and 3x3. Three three, so that'll help build spots for them. So we'll get that. Oh, I get both. Sick. Yeah, <laughs> that's a powerful thing we just picked up. Ooh. Lightning ball tower. Cannot rotate and fire lightning ball straight ahead, damaging all enemies in their path. Ooh, that's actually really good since we have a one by two. We have a straight way, straight line so we can make channels. I think I'll go with that to keep our uh, electric fire combo going. So with this new Tetris piece, the cross that you saw we pick up, it has the fire and the extra power uh, bonuses to it. This really kind of solidified my run going forward, you'll see. Um, especially now that we have the fireball tower, the sniper tower, and the new pickup with the lightning, uh, whatever it's called, the lightning ball tower. Those three towers really carry the run going forward. So we're going to speed through some of these rounds a little bit quicker. I'll show you less of the round as we work our way towards the, uh, the final boss fight. And, uh, but I want to show you how we kind of, uh, started to understand the lightning ball tower and how honestly really powerful it can be. And then, light, yeah, lightning ball tower. Oh, look at the range on that. Sick. Oh, let's do this. 
Oh, it takes another Q. Um, do I risk it? I think I risk it. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Put that there. Put this here. And then this can go right there. Yeah! Look at that! We'll see if we we'll see if we can make it work with all these straight pieces. Honestly, this tower is going to be MVP. Oh yeah, let's check out its upgrades. First one, automatically fires continuously during the battle. When an electric ball hits another electric ball tower, the hit tower immediately fires once. What the heck? So you start like ping-ponging? Okay, well that's obviously not going to work for this guy, so we'll have to go with this, which is extra damage. And each time an electric ball passes through a monster, the tower's cooldowns reduced by 10%, up to 50% per ball. Let's click that right now. Oh, it looks cool. Look at that. Okay. Yeah, that's that's gonna be MVP on this this one for sure. Okay, uh, let's get this. We really need this. That's got extra fire damage and great attack boost. Double down on that, which is huge. So this thing's cool. When it shoots the fireball, you can see the fireball is bouncing. So honestly, <laughs> our setup here uh, with this really long straightaway is like really working. I wouldn't mind getting another one of these, honestly. Easy. This build seems to be working. Phoenix Feather. All fire towers gain 5% extra crit chance. Critical hits from fire towers cause burning for 5 seconds. That's probably going to be what we choose. Golden Statue. If things die within range, I get extra gold. And that's just nice. And then Phoenix Feather. So our fire is no joke. That is awesome. I think I have enough for some new talents before we go to this altar here. Yeah, 51. Quite a lot. So these are the permanent things that uh, I just get on my account, basically. Um, and I kind of want to work on fire enhancement for future runs. There's a lot. There's a lot going on here. Also, loot scavenging is good. But yeah, let's get let's get the fire enhancement. And. Extra gold? Yeah. Basically making my next the start of my next runs easier. Which is handy. Okay, let's see what this altar is. Present offerings. Receive the altar's blessing. Restore 5 HP, not bad. Receive a relic. Sacrificial pack. Oh, but I lose 5 HP. When the fire source is attacked and your HP reaches zero, consume all your ember stones and heal one for every ten ember stones. After triggering this relic will be destroyed. Wow. That can be a run-saving card, but I don't know if I need it because we're doing good. I think we'll invest. So now we have 27, so I gotta try to heal that up, but um, that's cool. I mean, I started this round with 13, so that's, that's crazy <laughs> how much I've gained. Yeah, look at this. We can put the big firebomb thing right there, and it'll do so much damage. It's a little, it's a little setting up for late game, but uh, I like that. Oh, but look at this lane. If I can get uh, a single target and get a lightning right here, and even like here, and even here, like the, we got a lot of a lot of good alleyways. Bees, not the bees. <laughs> yeah, get them, fire tower. This thing is boost. Look at that. Fire boost, greater attack, two greater attack boosts. That's awesome. And I think I will do range on this one. Keep its explosion. Let's do that right now. What? Look at that bounce. What the heck? It bounces like all the way over there. What in the world? Holy crap. Okay, now all we need before the end is to make a sniper. I do believe we did it. That was a cool round. I like that round. GG. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can get Frostfire. The attack speed of your fire towers is reduced by 20%, but their damage now also causes chill. So that's sick. Yeah, we'll go slow tower, and we'll make our fire tower slow. Adding a whole slow element. Okay, so this 
This is where I lost on the last run I did, the last, you know, full run I did. Keep in mind, this is only my second run. So I just don't really know the game much, but I've never seen the boss, so I hope we don't lose here, because I want to see this. <laughs> so let's dive in, see what we get. Oh boy, this looks difficult already. Okay, well first things first is we need to, like always, consolidate them to one of the sides. And I guess it doesn't really matter what side. Um, maybe we'll consolidate it around here, because that's our lightning. Oh, they went, they went easy on us. However, this is starting to create a line. So perhaps this is where we can try that bounce. No, it's not going to be able to... Okay, well, let's read it. Automatically fires continuously during the battle. When an electric ball hits another electric ball tower, the hit tower automatic immediately fires once. So, yeah, I think if you have another one right here, which we could actually set up do here, I guess. We'll try that. We'll put it here. So I'm thinking between this, it's going to go and just like rapid fire a lot. <laughs> At least I hope. Besides that, I think we wrap them around here. Or just consolidate all our damage in this lane. It's a little close to the flame, though, if I'm honest. Although we might be able to make them go around a little bit. This game's tough in the sense that once you play something, you can't pick it back up. Like, once you accept it for that round, you've kind of committed. Okay, let's give it a shot. Putting a lot of faith in our test here. <laughs> okay, so it looks like it would go, it would just shoot, but that second shot from both of them is triggering because they're hitting each other. Seems all right. Oh, here's our heal. Seems all right. I feel like it should shoot faster, but that's eh, all right. We'll do that, and then we'll get the sniper in the big damage boost. In case we get a boss, just in case. The fire rate, of course. And then just like always, spend our last money on some dice. Can I get a six? A two? I, I, that can't. Not on the good spot. I'll tolerate a four. <laughs> Let's line it up. All right, here we go. The two double shots is like having four, though. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Probably is more damage with these two. But is it enough? Is it more damage that's worth buying and upgrading too? Hard to hard to say. It does look like it's doing a lot of damage. Oh, I guess we could check, huh? Damage dealt. So this has killed 60. This one's killed 17. And we placed this one recently, but this one's killed 25. So this one killed more than that one. And it was out for the last. But it was also up front, so I don't know. Some stats to think about, though. So now with our full setup with the lightning towers, the sniper tower, the fireball towers, the slowing towers... Uh, and all of the upgrades and, and stuff that we've learned about, uh, mainly the lightning ball tower, uh, it's finally time to dive in to the boss fight. Okay, boss time. Uh, let's get talents before. Can any of these help? Additional damage chance to crit against boss. Uh, hello? It's like kind of exactly what I need. All right, here we go. We barely have any relics. I finished, or when I lost my first round, I actually had like six or seven. So it's kind of crazy we only have three. They're really good ones. But, um, yeah, here it goes. Oh boy. Ahead lies the Gates Guardian Monster. Defeat it to progress to the next area. Quickly fortify your defenses and use the Minecart to weaken the boss. The Arrow Tower guards will buy you time to prepare for the impending attack. Jeez. Also, these are corrupted tiles. I've seen these before. Not on this run, but you can't build anything on there. So making this area ridiculous. Okay, and then the mine carts are these six. Okay, the mine carts move around. So yeah, that's why they want the mine cart to attack this. Hold on. I don't know why that got so 
overly hype. <laughs> okay. Well, first things first is we need to worry about the waves. So I should block one of these. Actually, if we can roll a six die on these, that would be the best. Do these even get... Does the boss move? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, un I'm unsure how this is going to play out. Let's do that for now. And then for turn one, Tesla has done, hasn't done us wrong in the past. So we'll get a long range Tesla. And we will upgrade its fire rate. And hope for the best. I see, so this is gonna slowly walk towards us. Mm, you know what? I'm gonna pause. We need to get a dice on there. High roll, high roll, high roll! Let's take a four. I think a dice we trust, guys. Dice towers for the win. Oh, we got horrible rolls. <laughs> Do that. We'll get the Tesla going for defense. This will be a great spot for s probably the fireball. And then we need to just keep rolling damage on the boss here. Oh, can't have that. Six. There's the winner. Okay, so it looks like he's the problem, not really the waves. It's scary. Maybe I should get a I should get a Tesla on there. Upgrade its damage. They also do hit the lanes, so these these minecrafts are or mine carts are really useful. Oh, I see. So every round he takes one out. It's so round three, round four, round five, and then round six he comes for us. Okay, we've done almost no damage to him. <laughs> I think this spot should probably be Sniper. And I should build it now. Which I do need to upgrade, but this, this is too good of a spot. Let's see, do I give it fire damage or... No, let's do... let's do this, and then I can do this, and then I can still get the fireball. What a crazy boss fight. Oh, I should set the towers to shoot. That's a good point. Highest HP. Hold on. Slow this down. That's a good call. Good call. That'll help a lot. It'll make this a little bit more worrisome, though. But that's what these guys are for. Let's actually let's upgrade the sniper. Oh, we can do both. Let's get both of them. Yeah, good call, man. Look at that. I already took out like a thousand more with just that one round. Okay. Um, and we get to roll the die. And we get a six. Oh, look at that. Huge. Get them, boys. I gotta say, this game is extremely creative. I've played a lot of tower defenses before. Uh, and this one is, is very unique. Even just something like the mine cards is, is unique, you know? Like moving towers is pretty cool. I also don't know if you noticed, but they go for like little jumps, which is kind of... A little flavor. Whee! <laughs> Alright, he's taking a lot of damage, but we got a lot of work to do. Luckily, it looks like this is holding down the line. I haven't really worried too much. It's like Slay the Spire mixed with Tower Defense. Yeah, totally. I love Slay the Spire. This is such a good game. Okay. 
Alright, final wave. What do we do here? Another sniper. With two increases. Okay. Here's our... One final roll for the hell of it. <laughs> A three. Okay. Let's do it. Get them, snipers. Oh, we're chewing through them. Oh, I think we got this. Only thing to stop us is all these waves coming at the same time. Get him! Get him! Oh, it's a little close, but I think he, I think he's dead. Guys, guys, get him! Get him! What the heck? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Highest HP. Furthest. Oh my God, we killed him <laughs> right before. <laughs> that was scary. I still gotta worry about these. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Build fast, build fast, build fast. Okay. Crisis averted, I think. That was, that was a little scary. <laughs> that was, that was so close for comfort. Woo, hey, we did it, though. So yeah, folks, that was my uh, first time beating a boss here in Ember Ward, and as you saw, it came down to, like, literally a millimeter. He got super close, which uh, had me, you know, pulling my collar, like, oh, God, kind of panicking, trying to get my sniper tower, who was shooting highest HP, to quickly shoot furthest, and I don't know if I didn't click that in time, uh, if we actually would have killed him, and I don't know how much HP. I feel like it might have been an insta-kill if the boss hits. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, guys, as a quick review for this game, as you can tell, I'm really enthralled with this game. It's super clean. Like, everything is presented very well. Everything's very clear in what you need to do. Um, using the Tetris as a way to maze your way through, uh, you know, the the routes of the enemies is super creative and the fact that you can get bonuses on top of those tetris pieces to make your towers stronger in different ways is really really creative as far as game design goes um so i mean i don't know about a number for this like eight out of ten or whatever nine out of ten it, it's up there right um and the fact that this is super early access right now and it has a lot more coming out. It's not even at its 1.0 release, right? Because it's early access. Uh, it just means it's got so much more growth to go going forward, uh, which has me really excited. And uh, every time they update, it'll have like a new map, maybe new towers, new cards, just new ways to combine your runs, which is really exciting uh, from a gamer point of view. So yeah, that's my quick little uh, review slash uh, exhibition, <laughs> a little showcase here of Ember Ward. Uh, big fan of it. I hope you guys should, uh, or I think you guys should go check it out especially it's it's only $15 right now so I think it's kind of a steal so yeah guys go check it out it's got my seal of approval uh big fan here so but anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video uh let me know down in the comments what you think of this game what you think of uh, the review here uh give it a like if you don't mind it helps the algorithm a lot especially because my channel is mainly animal survival games so helping push uh some of these other uh kind of creative type tower defense games uh, really does help me so thank you for that but anyway guys uh, i hope you guys have a good rest of your day i have been jay but until next time peace out